Okay, in this video, we're going to quickly walk through how to create a new Windows server. So we've gone through several times and we've created different Linux and Windows client uh, machines. The process is pretty much the same. So going to create a new VM. I'm currently using Windows Workstation Pro version 16. I think currently version 17 is out. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Uh, I'm going to select that and I believe it'll still function correctly. And then I'm going to call this 2022 since that will be more accurate. I'm going to put over here, new folder, uh, server 2022. Right. And again, I'm not going to be allocating this space right now. So just for future growth opportunity, I'm going to increase this size a, a bit and just be in a single file. Let me customize the hardware. I have space to give it additional RAM. I have space to give it another core. And I think that'll be good for right now. I may add another network adapter depending on how I want to network this uh, virtual machine. But that should be good there. And we should see this pop in to our inventory. And now I can go ahead and power the machine on. It's going to ask me information. Tell it to install. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Again, I want to do standard, and then you'll see there's some options in here. If I do not select the desktop experience, uh, then I will not have the graphical environment. What I would recommend for you getting started learning is that you select the desktop experience. As you get uh, more and more used to servers, you may decide to go to what, is, what was previously called core, um, where you are administering the server uh, just through command line. But if you see this again, this is the one they recommend because it's a slimmer, smaller footprint. Uh, but this option admits most of the graphical environment you still pull up PowerShell, but that's still pretty much graphical environment. Uh, manage with a command prompt and PowerShell or remotely with Windows Admin Center or other tools. Uh, Windows Admin Center is a way that you can manage many of your servers uh, through a single console. Uh, and then there's also third party applications where you can do uh, the same thing, collect logs and set policies. Uh, but for what we want to do in actually learning how to administer and work on the server is we want the desktop experience. So depending on which one you need, just make sure you keep in mind the differences there. Again, I'm going with standard because it meets all of the needs that I have right now. Take a look at the differences to decide if you need the other ones. If you are actually purchasing this for a, a, a business use, uh, take a look at the licensing and pricing and again take a look at what your your needs are for your organization standard will do the job in many instances but sometimes you really do need the data center All right past this it's just going through and uh, selecting these Okay, and this is where you will create your administrator password. All right, so at this point you have your server. And if you want to uh, begin administering your server, uh, setting up 
uh, services, setting up roles. Uh, you'll be able to do that. Hopefully server manager will pop right up. Yep, there we go. And so from this point, you are in and you have a running uh, Windows 2022 uh, server. So thanks, hope this has helped.